Our first little fumble of the day. Our second. Second fumble. Yeah, remember when you almost fell off the trailer right there? Right, I almost fell off yeah. on the machine. So yeah, two. It's because you were looking at me. I was entranced by his, his majestic blue eyes. We are here in Milltown, New Jersey. Let me show you what we got to work with. We are nestling this waterfall into this corner. Customers Landscaper built this very nice sturdy retaining wall. We're building right into it with those waterfalls cascading right to the edge of what will be a new patio sitting area with fire pit. So in order for us to gain access with our machine and to dig this out, we're gonna have to actually pull apart some of these forms, dig our basin, set that in, and then start constructing the waterfall. So, hi Joe. How you doing? Give everybody on YouTube a wave. <laughs> so this backyard is going under quite a bit of transformation. It's a new home. Customer moved in here about a year ago. He lived in town. He said there's a great big pond down this direction. He didn't want a pond because of that other big natural pond and the herrings. So they're putting in some cool patio here a center with a fireplace, some sitting benches on either side, all directed towards what will be a pretty spectacular water feature tucked into the corner here. We're gonna use almost all of this space here for our water feature. It's gonna have pooling areas, split streams, multiple cascades, all meandering around before it disappears into the basin over here. So we have to watch out for the footprint of that patio and then dig down, make our basin, and start building a waterfall. So when installing a poundless waterfall, our basin or holding tank for the water that gets recirculated through the system sits within a basin. And what we're doing here, we've outlined what the space that we need for a total of eight small aqua blocks. And we're gonna be laying them in lengthwise, end to end, and then a second row next to it with the pump vault located at that far side. The contractor was here, he told us his finished height so we know exactly the depth we need to dig so we can get the top of our blocks to sit about four inches below finished grade. So knowing that, we now know how deep to dig this. Our excess soil will be bermed up into this little retaining area so we can then later carve it out into the multiple cascades and streams and little curving areas to have all that water drop back into the basin and recirculate through the system. We have got our basin excavated here. This is gonna be holding eight small aqua blocks plus our vault. We've got everything leveled this way and a very, very slight pitch that way. So all the water will run to the bottom of that vault, circulating up behind here into the spillway and then dispersing down the falls. So here we've got the vault sitting also level side to side, front to back. It's designed so this block sits flush on the top of that little foot. This way, everything maintains the level that we've set here with our excavation. And then that allows us to cover the matrix blocks here with gravel and some stonework and finish it off here because again, their patio is gonna come right up to the edge of that. And then finish grade from that a piece of two by four is three and a half inches up. So we use that as part of our measuring for the depth here. So once all the grade is finished, this is gonna be sitting about four inches below that patio. So it's gonna be a nice sunken in area complemented with rocks coming right off this retaining wall block. We just extend it out and around the back side here. This way it just kind of seamlessly flows from the natural stone into those man-made blocks.
to what we got so far. Kind of looks a little in disarray, but I swear to you there is a plan. We have got two waterfalls coming down into here. They're both gonna be different style waterfalls. This one's gonna be more of like a babbling brook where it's just kind of rolling over the stones, hitting the flat part here, and then a final spill into the basin below. The other one will have a nice sheet style, but behind it, we've got a nice ledge rock that's just going to cascade right off the lip of it into a small pooling area and then down to there. So the plan for tomorrow, we're gonna bring more of these flat, kind of irregular shaped rocks just to help create the illusion that this was a stone formation that just over years and years and years formed with the water carving its way through it. So starting in the upper corner here is where the spillway will go into a pooling area where it then splits and then comes down on both sides here. So this is Aquascape's compact autofill. We've got it drilled right through the side of the vault, hooked up to half inch irrigation pipe. This kit included the necessary hose clamp and barb fitting that just screws onto the back of it. I did use some silicone just to make a nice watertight seal between the two pieces. And then I will be adjusting this down a little bit lower than where max level will be, max water level. And that's to allow for the water in motion so when the pump is shut off it's not going to overflow our basin it will always keep just the right amount of water in here right oh yeah that's right See? that is absolutely right this is so right it's uh, it's a beautiful thing We are so close to finishing this patio falls. We are down to the cleanup, rinse this thing out, clean off all that silty gravel and stones. We've got everything mossed in, lights hooked up, pump hooked up, ion gen hooked up. Everything is ready to go. We're gonna rinse it down, clean everything out, and then we're gonna go get Joe and Darlene and see what they think of their brand new fountainscape. Are you ready to see it? I don't know. Is Bowley ready to let you see it? All right, enough joking around. Guys, what do you think of this? Great job, guys. That's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It is. It's beautiful. It's been said before, and I'll say it again. You do not need a lot of space to have a water feature that makes an absolutely huge impact. And that's exactly what this feature does. We didn't have all that much space to work in. We have about 12 foot this way, just over 10 foot from the very edge to that back wall. So we squeezed in so many spillways, so many different waterfalls. We've got natural elements like that nice stump in the back. We've got our moss. Plants will be put in eventually by his landscaper. Those blocks will be capped and then landscape plants behind it, all around it just to soften it up. But this, I cannot tell you how excited I am with the way that this came out. Every one of these waterfalls is different. 
from ribbon styles to sheet styles to just a total wash over the face of this rock. This over here is like a slide. The water is building up volume on the back and then just rushing around real fast before it crashes over this spillway here. Absolutely incredible how all of these were fit into this space. It is so awesome and the acoustics in this backyard I hope are being picked up because this is only flowing at five out of 10 on the variable flow pump. It is perfect the way it's tuned right now and just the way that water is bubbling right up out of that spillway. You're not sure where it's coming from, just underneath that root, and then it just fills this little pooling area before spilling over three separate spillways and then making its way down all different sides of this water feature. I can't wait to come back in the next year or so, see the landscape finished and see everything grown in and this totally naturalized into its new corner in the property here. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below and we'll see you guys on the next one.